play those kind of games. Yeah. You can really sense the passion. Exactly. That's what. That's uh, kind of what we were talking about uh, just before. The reset is an event that is very much gra grassroots. Like exactly. it, it's it, yeah. it's grown to be like one of the biggest events in Switzerland. Uh, a biggest uh, fighting games event in Switzerland, but the very beginning was just like you know people uniting to play Street Fighter, playing f uh, fighting games and all. And now and we game. get such yeah we we get such great events like Smash Four uh, uh, that we are witnessing at the moment. Losers round four. We have Benji versus Waves for top eight. And man, this is we've seen this matchup before actually in pools, and we see it a lot in Europe in general. Uh, Definitely. Obviously, the UK uh, providing a lot of quality. Polysonics and in the UK especially there's a lot of foxes as well uh, the likes of CRZ and Starfall especially and I mean every single time I see this matchup it can be so fast paced definitely yeah Fox it's has the speed to keep up with Sonic and that's the one thing that Sonic doesn't like when he is thrown in the air when he is in this advantage he wants to use his speed to reset to neutral but that doesn't work against yeah. Fox yeah it doesn't work like uh, X is what's talking to me about the fact that uh, he needs a little bit of oh that's a nice opening though so much damage coming from Benji we, you, we were talking about the explosiveness of this matchup yep. well yeah we just witnessed just that like three exactly. hours and the four there so much damage coming in and now waves answering bad this is back and forth with yours too but yeah X is what's uh, telling me about the fact that he needs 17 frames to charge his pin yep. dash in order to get that invincibility and and something that Fox can do in order to avoid that that makes it so difficult in the matchup is that he can actually pressure him and put him in a situation where he could dash attack without him having the time to charge it exactly and that is one of those super important things about Sonic a lot of people are talking talk about how safe it is when you can spin dash you can cancel it in the shield but as soon as that shield comes out and you haven't committed into it you know spin dashing again is such a risky option for Sonic because of that startup and Sonic as you mentioned, one of the best characters to abuse that. And we're already seeing that this advantage is coming through. Look at Fox putting so much pressure mm. on Sonic. And even though the percentages are equal, uh, Fox has so many more kill options than Sonic does. And that really is something that we're going to see come into play soon, I think. Might be, but Benji, ooh! Look at that! Ooh, ooh that yeah. tech chase messed that, up! Yeah, that, that's what I was about to, to tell you about. Like, he has the setups, but Sonic has the easier time just finding a, 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 yep. a, an arrow. It's yeah, definitely just. less committal for him to find those kills, and that is very, very big, especially against a character like Fox, that can be oh so very safe. All right, Benji, that's the moment where, oh, that oh. was a nice try. I think uh, I've seen that one coming uh, a lot on the... Uh, but so, so a few Sonics still use this, uh, the spin dash cancel on, on yep. the opponent, but uh, most of the Foxes I've seen are very aware of that and just go for the up, uh, up smash out of shield in order to punish that. I think that's what Benji was going for, but he didn't realize he was uh, facing the opposite way and taking a bunch of damage because of that. Yeah, definitely got the momentum stolen right from under his feet there. And Waves is sitting pretty on this lead, and the one thing you don't want Sonic to have is a lead, because at that stage, he can just play defensively yeah. and force you to come into it. And especially for a close-range fighter like Fox, getting past that invincible spin dash is just nearly impossible. And just like that, Waves takes game one. Yeah, that, that, that looks so hard, man. Like, yeah. Sonic is already so hard to, to kill, yeah. but, but now you're giving him a lead and a reason not to use anything risky at all yep this is such a harsh position and Benji yeah he, he's gonna have to you know w w he had one or two openings to get a kill he will have to make a more precise move next game yep. uh, in order to get those kills in order not to lose that's basically what's going on exactly he needs to make the most out of those opportunities those few opportunities that Waves is giving him Waves on the other hand he too stocked in last game he's sitting pretty I think Waves has a lot of room to work with here even though Benji is taking the early momentum in his hands. All right, everyone did your spin dash twice. Good job on that one. It's like, like Benji is just analyzing ways, but giving him the uh, the dash attack at the edge, that's something you really don't want to do against nope. Sonic. Like, Sonic is going to gonna shield every time at the edge because he gets a back throw, he gets uh, some kind of stuff that doesn't get comboed very, uh, yeah. very, very far all if he gets grabbed. So. Exactly, and all of the offstage pressure, obviously one of the, the key points for Sonic versus Fox because Fox's offstage game is, is very abusable. Yeah. Waves already having taken back the lead right here and once again I see so many so many troubles for Benji when he tries to get in. Waves is there with that spin dash and if it's not the spin dash the up air that's such a low commitment call out but it covers so many options especially when Benji keeps pressing that, that many buttons. 
Sonic has all the speed and an amazing hitbox, to be honest, with that up air. And using both of those in conjunction is just gonna choke him, choke Benji out. And Benji needs to stop pressing all those buttons and he needs to start using that shield more, shield those spin dashes, and get a punish out of it. Yeah, talk about getting choked out. Benji not hitting waves in a significant manner for the past one minute. And waves actually finding the first kill there, sitting pretty with the two stocks again. Looking really rough for Benji right here. He needs to adapt and he needs to adapt quickly. Waves not giving him the errors for the fair drop. Very, very cool, calm and collected even in a situation like that. Well, Waves is still going for a few uh, risky options. So Benji, you know, he's not like uh, sitting against an opponent that is playing so optimal he cannot hit him. He uh -huh. still has a shot, you know, he still has a shot to adapt and actually punish these small openings. But uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Benji knows the in and outs of the matchup enough in order to avoid uh, to to punish them correctly. That's the yeah. thing I've I'm seeing so far. He is definitely slightly off on a lot of his punishes. I've seen a lot of like power shielded smashes, power shielded dash attacks, stuff like that. And that really goes to show that he has the right idea. It's just not quite there on the execution. Yeah, and just, just like, like that. that. One. Yep. Yep. And the first lap, yeah, the first lap of the game. And that's another two stuck for Waves. Waves 2-0, like, yeah, very I dominant. I, I feel like I feel like Benji's doing okay, and every time when I look at the score, it's a two stock. It's just like yeah. the, the, the leads, I mean, the game is just running away from him. Every time he gets, uh, he, he lo loses the first stock. Not just the game, but Sonic as well. And yeah. it's just so hard to keep up because while Sonic does have the speed, uh, as we've mentioned before, that spin dash is just so dominant, even the up air is dominant. And every time Waves does get a confirm, that's 25% off of just spin dash and an up air. Ugh. On the other hand, Benji, he has to make that advantage state work. He has to push those hits a lot further than he's doing. Look at that, he gets a dash attack and, and back else. to neutral. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. And yeah, well, he's still looking for the, the right things, like uh, looking exactly. for the roles, like uh, 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 trying to go for safe reads and stuff like that. And that's it. All right. That now we're getting a little bit more damage from his advantage state. But again, yeah, yeah, like you just said, he had an advantage state and actually left it and gave it back to Waves. Exactly. And that's just the one thing you don't want to do, you man. You really don't want to. Even, even just neutral is painful enough, but you don't want to get uh, into a, a disadvantage state from a, an advantage state in that kind of matchup. Yep. You gotta steal that spotlight, and Benji at this moment, he's kinda getting... He's, he's running out of options, basically. Yeah. We even see Waves landing with unsafe back airs, and they're going entirely unpunished. And, I mean, it is one of those things that you kinda have to know. You need the experience, right? Yeah. Sonic's aerials just aren't that safe on landing, uh, unless in very specific scenarios, like upper auto cancels, right? Yeah. Uh, and you need to be aware of that, because they look safe. The, the back air looks safe. Do. Like it's <laughs> not safe, though. <laughs> the usual thing is you get hit by a few auto auto cancel up air, you get punished with a jab or something like that. You, yep. you fall for it a few times, and then you go like, yeah, everything is safe. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going any, any, yep. anymore. And, and, ooh, a little bit of a fill pivot grab approach. Yeah. Kind of iffy on that one. Grabbing versus Sonic is not an easy task. And just like that, mm. the re-grab not going to get punished mm. either. And that's that such a difficult situation versus Sonic because he always has the option to overshoot his up B. Yeah, I think that's why actually Benji... Oh, that's a nice up smash though. Very, very nice. That's his first start from the set. Yep. But for the whole game, he's been like uh, acting um, in a more, much more confident manner. Yeah, he's, for uh, sure. Finding the uh, the options in uh, in uh, advantage state, actually punishing uh, waves for the first time as well for just pin dashing for nothing and jumping yep. and that kind of stuff. So yeah, we can definitely j see Benji adapting, but oh! Waves still not down for the count. He's only down 30% and he got some momentum going here. Let's see what he can make of it. All right, Benji trying to find the dash attack into. Oh, yeah, that was definitely <laughs> a fair drop, ladies definitely, and gentlemen. Definitely. But a little bit of a miss input right Cystic there. Cystic Nair, boys. Cystic yeah. Nair. All right, Benji living somehow. Trying to extend his lead as much as he can because he knows what's coming oh. next. Like if he, oh, that's a nice one, but no combo extender right there. Can ben he push it forward? Yeah, Benji's doing really well. I think Waves is kind of, uh, he's getting anxious. He really wants that kill. A lot of spin dashes that are, that he's trying to confirm to oh, aerials. Yeah. <laughs> and Benji's playing confident. Did you yeah. see that tomahawk grab? That was nothing he wanted. Like, that was nowhere no. uh, he wanted to go. Yep, basically. But he still went for it. Still actually dropped in front of Waves and got the grab. Uh, that that instills fear in the old enemy. Exactly, and Benji right now is looking like a complete turnaround compared to last game's 50-50, guess is wrong. However, 
Still got a little bit of pressure here. Waves, he has to make that stock happen, and he has to make it happen soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely looking for the tone around grab. And Benji jumping so much because he knows. There it is. Waves, 95% deficit. That's a big mountain to climb, my man. Yeah, it is, it is. But still, recognizing the situation, like, that's the next step to go. You see the opponent jumping so much to avoid the grab. You're go you, you, you look for the uh, opening on the jump stand. Exactly. And that's exactly how Waves um, actually got the kill. Waves still being able to adapt means he's still looking to win that game, basically. Yeah, he's definitely not out for the count in terms of mindset. And look at that perfect shielding, the up smash. Very nice fast fall shield by Waves. Kind of mixing up his landing there. And that's exactly what he needs to do to make this happen he cannot let benji land a decisive hit and fox has so many decisive hits wow Jesus, that was so close is that it the is that did the forwarder kill him i uh, no, that was actually the, that the, was just a kill yeah right. that was just a kill that was just a kill so benji i mean barely he's yeah, he's barely, scraping barely. by but he, barely. he's on the board yeah uh, in, in wave with such a strong comeback I, we're not used to having such a strong mindset coming out from this player as well like uh, okay. it's always been like a very campy character a very campy but uh, usually loses patience um, too early in the set okay. Uh, okay from his own words you know but that time that time yeah he was nowhere close to the, his uh, usual mindset he went back and ran back all this percent almost taking the stock uh, there and, and uh, getting that 301 benji but uh, nice stuff to benji as well finally uh, taking a first game off waves yeah and we actually the Politana counter pick coming out right here from waves I I like it um, I think if if he doesn't lose the momentum early on like last game that is that is gonna be a key point and I think final destination can help a lot with that um, not he's gonna get juggled like that though Benji very on point here and look at all the adaptations working out for him I've heard in the past that uh, Sonic Sonic lost, uh, loses on FD only to Fox. I have no idea why, though. Right, so Final Destination for Sonic is kind of... Okay, so Sonic has strong anti-approach game, right? Spin yeah. dash, anti-approach tool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Final Destination makes it extremely binary. Yeah. Either your opponent cannot get in whatsoever because there's no way to play around it, no platforms, or... Sonic gets absolutely destroyed because he cannot get out of disadvantage because his disadvantage is so bad he doesn't have any yeah, platform to compensate yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah. So going to Final Destination is basically a declaration of saying I'm gonna win the neutral. And in this case, it's just not happening. It's not. It's not. Benji finding the kill again. We were talking about uh, how Benji needed to adapt in order to find the kills because that was the, the key point, the pilot yep. off point of the uh, of the set. And Benji is finding those kills. Waves is not. So. But let's be real, the Waves brought it back very well last game. Let's see how how far he can uh, he can bring this back. He's just one kill move down. Mm, and, and that adaptation, like you said, like reading all the adults is not and finding <gasps> the ooh, 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 ooh. He was definitely looking for that uh, yeah. forward air drop. Yeah. Uh, but Oh Benji looking cute again with that turn around grab and Ooh. again another read Jesus Christ Benji. And on Final Destination there's nowhere to go those air dodges are oh. gonna get punished <laughs> just like that oh. Benji making a statement Who is that guy? Who is that guy? I I'm, I, I mean I, I'm supposed to know pretty much everybody's strong in Switzerland and this kind of guy just pops out of nowhere and show shows everybody that he's he's a guy you have to contend for. Yeah, All right, 2-2 sure. two, two against Wave with such a uh, uh, nice lead in that Yeah, uh, such a devastating dominant, yeah. win. Yeah, such a And the the main story point here is the momentum. Yeah, Waves has yeah. no momentum no left momentum. going into this game. And he's actually deciding to go for Smashville. I really like that pick. It's um versus Fox. You really want to abuse this offstage game. And on Smashville, you're going to get that much more mileage out of getting that offstage reward. However, on the other hand, we haven't seen Waves get many gimps on Benji uh, whatsoever. Much. He's not going offstage that much, right? He's just, uh, uh, I mean, the two first wins were him uh, uh, outplaying him on stage and yep, getting the kill exactly. first and, and getting the most damage. And yeah, basically everything is happening on stage. I'm not sure that's so actually, actually maybe, maybe that happen. signifies a mindset change for, for Waves, right? He, he realized, hey, maybe I need to abuse this Sonic weakness a little bit harder. I'm going to try to take him to Smashville so I can get more mileage out of it. That would definitely make sense. Uh, so far, it's looking like the first game, first or second game, though. Uh, yep. Waves is finding all the right hits, Ooh. playing a little, more, a little bit more patient and yep. avoiding uh, Benji's dash attacks. 
Very well. Just uh, just like you said, yeah. Space is around the dash attack. Immediately punishes with a back air. And Benji, he's on life support, man. That's 39% and two stocks on Sonic. Very, Ooh. very hard to make up for that. Oh, you want to come for that bat as well. Again, uh, not a spot you want to sit on against the Sonic. Like uh, oh, the no. platform so far off stage? Nope. But yeah, Benji just go <laughs> again. Well, that 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 time it was uh, kind of stupid because it didn't work. But, uh, <laughs> but, no, but still, but uh, just a, a, a yeah. symptom of the, the of, showing of confidence yeah. is very very nice for Benji. That's definitely what he's gonna need if he wants to bring this back. He's already getting left in percents. There's not much left to do for Waves to get this W. But Benji, I mean, he's a fighting man. We saw that after going down two oh oh two. He's still in this. Look at that down smash punish on the re grab. No two frame up tilt though. Still outspacing Waves and. Trying to get this advantage state going. Ooh, the roll. Very nice by Waves. Now, what I really want Waves to do more is after he gets hit, try to up B out of the 50-50s. We haven't seen yeah. him up B out of disadvantage whatsoever so far. And I think that's a really big deal versus Fox if he even gets into another disadvantage state. The spring is going to miss. How's Benji going to deal with this pressure? Look oh, at that. yeah, that might oh. be it. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're back on stage. Benji really needs to find the kill, though. Oh, he had an occasion Ooh. there. Yeah, he had yeah. a few opportunities, but I, I respect the decision to go to, to play safe because yes. uh, his tournament life is on the line, right? You, you, you really want to take the, the hits that will take it for sure to avoid this kind of stuff. And ah, uh, no back here just yet. No kill just yet. Oh, the upbeat? Not coming out or quite late, actually. Benji, he's back on stage. No punish. Waves just kind of has all the room to work with right now, and that's not a good look for Benji. That is definitely not a good look for Benji there. Ooh. Yeah, this kind of confusion yep. is going to take it. That's a 3-2 for Waves, but what a showing from Benji. Benji really showing how strong he is, not only as a player, but mentally as well. Definitely. Getting double two-stocked and then bringing it to game five. Yeah. That's not an easy feat definitely whatsoever. Not. And, and, and